So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get to some Twitter shout-outs uh, since we're uh, going ahead and, uh, you know, approaching the second hour here, folks. And for you folks that want a Twitter shout-out live right here on the broadcast, all you've got to do is retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, folks, and that's the tweet that says, True Capitalist Radio Now Live. All right, folks, that's the tweet that you retweet for a shout-out live right here on the broadcast. Hey, Engineer, do we have any Twitter shout-outs? Good morning! All right, well, we got some Twitter shout-outs, and let's get to them right now! All right, folks, now, look, I'm I'm not in the mood, to be honest with you, with any of these ridiculous uh, kookster troll names, but once again, this uh, this is the Internet's. Anyway, we got the Republicatarian in the house. What's going on? We got the Teutonic Plague in the house. How you doing, Teutonic? Uh, we've got Z Frostwire in the place. Uh, we've got uh, Alpha Farce. Uh, we've got uh, what's going on, to Capitalist Joe? Good to see you on a live broadcast. Dorito Burrito in the house. Uh, regular TCA in the place. There's Blood Fart again. What's going on to Blood Fart? Uh, who else do we got going on over here? Once again, retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account. Politics Ghost is the Twitter account, but folks, all one word, no underscores. Uh, we got Sergeant Yoda in the house. Exara Hawks in the place. What's going on? Uh, we've got a Comfy Raider in the place. Platinum Robo in the house. Kilted Capitalist in the place. What's going on? Uh, Fousey Tube Ghost. Shove it up your ass. I hate that Muslim bastard, all right? And not because he's Muslim, because I've just come out of the closet already, Fousey. I mean, in my opinion, I'm sorry. I mean, the, the guy's a little effeminate uh, Muslim. I, I, in my opinion, I'm sorry. All right, just admit it. Just admit it that you take it up your camel pickled pooper, all right? I mean, just, just, just admit it. It's my opinion. I'm just saying. I, I, he hasn't come out of the closet. He hasn't said anything. I'm just saying. And what did I tell you bastards about uh, promoting YouTubers on my broadcast? I don't appreciate that, boy. Anyway, we got uh, Eddie Hinkle in the place. Who the hell else do we got going on over here? We got uh, trans Michelle Obama. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad people are starting to realize that, hey, Michelle Obama, this is that's a man, baby. All right, That's a goddamn man, for Christ's sake. And you know what I don't appreciate? First of all, I don't appreciate that these liberals... They aren't out in the open with this type of activity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everyone, I mean, that is a blatant man, Michelle Obama. I mean, did, I mean, and she's a lazy tranny on top of that, too. I mean, she doesn't even tuck her sack back or, uh, you know, you know, I, I don't know, t- taper dingling or what. I don't know what the hell the procedure is. She doesn't even bother, for Christ's sake. Did you see her do that dance on Ellen, for Christ's sake, and see her Alabama black snake? Just kind of swinging around out there, for Christ's sake. You're a lazy tranny, Michelle, or Michael, or whatever the hell your real name is, for Christ's sake. And let me tell you, I think the reason that Obama isn't coming out with this, and I don't understand why. I mean, he's a liberal, right? Aren't liberals okay with this stuff? I mean, they should be, right? Aren't they pro-LGBT? The reason is, folks, is because I believe, in my opinion, that Barack, you know, he's the bottom, you know? I mean, he's the bottom. Why in the hell would he pick some big buck freaking tranny that looks like she could play the freaking uh, you know, linebacker position for the freaking 49ers out here? Why would she? Why would he do that? I mean, have you seen Michelle Obama next to other heads of states' wives, for Christ's sake? I mean, she towers over these people. She towers over other heads of state, man. Those man arms, for Christ's sake. Those man hands, for Christ's sake. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Good Lord. Anyway, I didn't mean to go off on that soliloquy about Michelle Obama, but remember, folks, uh, Joan Rivers said publicly that we already have the first gay president. We all know that Michelle Obama's a tranny, and that's on YouTube, folks. Look it up. A month later, she was dead. So I'm just saying... I'm just saying. Anyway, we got Strictly Diesel in the place. Lego Fan 421 in the house. Uh, we got the Trans Cane. You son of a bitch. God. 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 They put a pair of balls on Herman Cain's chin, for Christ's sake. God damn it. You sons of 
sons of bitches, man. Let me tell you something. That's my man. That's my man, Herman Sugarcane. He got robbed for the GOP nomination in 2012 because the goddamn Republican establishment set him up. And that's why he is my personal favorite for the VP candidate for Donald Trump because this man was prohibited from being the damn Republican nominee because of a goddamn Republican establishment conspiracy, and everybody out there knows it. God damn, putting a pair of balls on Herman Cain shit. What a bunch of assholes you are, you know what? You know that would piss me off. You knew that would piss me off, you stupid trolls. God damn, what a, what a son of a bitch. Yeah, give, me, give me the mic. Give me the freaking mic. That goddamn mic, for Christ's sake, man. Y'all are disgusting, and I'm sick and tired of this whole trans troll, to be honest with you. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm only going to take a couple more, for Christ's sake, man. Anyway, Jesus Christ, we've got uh, Tank Dempsey in the place. we got the Vore Capitalist in the house. Uh, we got uh, Nehru in the place. Uh, oh, Jesus, I'm not saying that disgusting name. We've got uh, ghost-supported NAFTA. Shove it up your ass, all right? We've got Capitalist UK in the house, high-pressure radio. What the hell is that supposed to mean, huh, boy? Uh, pressure radio. We got Tyson Rocket in the house. Uh, shoot the wounded Turks. That's horrible, asshole. Look, we're gonna get to that in a second, but you're already going there. Oh, great. We got the trans chicken. The trans chicken. A pair of balls on a chicken. I mean, good God, man. Enough of this crap. Seriously, man. Jesus Christ. We got Dick Ripley in the house. Bimbo Slut. Okay, that's great. CDI fan in the house. What's going on? I'm going to take a couple more, and then we're going to move on with the broadcast. Uh, we've got uh, the Whore Master. And, oh, yes, I'm the Whore Master. Oh, yes. we got the Brody Network in the house. A happy birthday to uh, the kid that runs that little whatever. Uh, we've got uh, 299 dog droppings. What the hell does that mean, you son of a bitch? Are you making fun of my dog? Let me tell you something, you son of a bitch. I, you know, I, I, my dog doesn't, it doesn't have accidents, all right? All right, I mean, I take care of things that, you know, love me, all right? So uh, I know when my dog needs to go and uh, take care of his business. I'm not going to let him just sit there and ruin my office, my home, or anything of that nature. I'm not going to let him, you know, make my damn house smell like freaking dog piss all over the place like I'm sure... Half of you people let your cats and dogs do all the goddamn time. So anyway, we got Ghost City, Texas for Christ. Now shove it up your ass. Uh, although I am considering that here as, uh, you know, when the uh, the next crash happens and I start uh, bottom feeding and, uh, you know, moving on up on a humongous size basis. I'm considering, you know, buying a little small town out here in Texas, baby. You know what I'm saying? Small, I'm not joking. I'm not kidding around. I mean, this is, of course, uh, long term. Buying a small town out here in Texas and inviting folks that used to listen to the broadcast to go out here and live in the in the town, baby. Anyway, anyway of course, that's long term. It's not something that uh, you know I could do tomorrow. A damn town out here in Texas costs about what about thirty five million dollars or some kind of garbage like that. Believe me, I've looked into it. Uh, anyway, we've got uh, Fox Ghostler. What the hell does that mean, you asshole? And don't call me Ghostler! I've told you that a, a million times already. We've got Bodie in the house. We're going on a boat. Who the hell else do we got? I'm just going to do a couple of more, folks, and I'm getting the hell out of here. Or I'm, I'm going to move on to something else. What's going on to Trump and capitalists, man? What's going on? Uh, True Undertale Radio. Shove it up your ass, for Christ's sake, all right? Trans ghost granny, you son of a bitch. God damn it, God damn it. I told you sons of bitches a long time ago not to make fun of my granny. I told you idiots a long time ago not to make fun of my granny, you sons of bitches, man. 
Brian. It's sons of bitches. My granny was a pious woman. You understand that, boy? She was a pious woman. How dare you? How dare you? Show some freaking respect, you losers. Show some goddamn respect. <laughs>
Touche operation was probably the only operation that was inspired by Henry Kissinger that I agree with. I'm serious. I thought the Allende uh, election was nothing more than pure uh, leftist propagandist. I mean, you know, it's uh, it was taking advantage of a primitive people that was barely coming out of uh, uh, colonialistic per oppression. And as a result, uh, you know, this socialist, leftist, uh, communist fervor, uh, you know, basically took power out there in Chile, and, uh, you know, something had to be done about it, all right? That's all there is to it. I mean, I, I do not cry uh, for, you know, deceased leftists. I'm sorry. 919, Radio Graffiti. Yo, Ghost, you and Donald Trump are two examples of handboats, bitch. Yeah, no, that's real funny, idiot. How about uh, 719, Radio Graffiti? So I want to go ahead and have sexual relations with puppies. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. shut up. You, what, the hell, what the hell is this about, man? Give me a break with this crap. And look, for you idiots that are out there, do I support feminists? No, I don't support feminists. All right? I mean, I, what I do is I'm trying to protect womanhood is what I'm trying to protect, all right? I mean, I, I don't want women to get swayed into this idea that, oh, well, I guess I have to be feminist because listen to these guys. They're, they're just sexual deviates. They're a bunch of snakes. They're a bunch of lizards. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, stupid garbage like that just gives them fervor, folks. You know what I mean? Not for me, but for other women. Women see it, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. Stupid idiots. 806, Radio Graffiti. Ghost, I'm in the hot tub at Pulse. Why don't you jump in and join me? Oh, my. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. That's a fruit bowl if I've ever heard one in my goddamn life. Jesus Christ. Uh, how about 781, Radio Graffiti? Teutonic Plague, I know you're in the queue. You fucking blocked me when I asked you a question because you gave out your address. Why don't you fucking talk to me now, bitch? Come talk to me. Well, Go, how about if I give him your number? You mind if I give him your number? How about seven eight one three five one three six five zero? Give him a call there, uh, uh, Teutonic. All right, seven eight one three five one three six five zero. All right, all right. He's got your address, so go ahead and give him a call. Uh, who else do we got here? We got uh, area code nine zero seven, Radio Graffiti. Blog Talk Radio, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the True Capitalist Radio. It's five-year mission to explore strange new fandoms, to seek out new trolls and more tinfoil, to boldly go no, where... Shut, shut up! Look, I just shut your stupid hole with that crap, you dumbass. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. Now you're taking too long, you stupid moron. God damn it, get it straight! How uh, about 682 Radio Graffiti? Oh, hey, Ghost. Just want to say uh, thank you for the... Birthday Twitter shout out you did to for me on the Twitter shout outs of course and um, also happy Taco Tuesday please keep me online for the third hour. All right, no problem. That's right, it's Taco Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ, man! I think I'm gonna have some. Uh, I think I'm gonna have some tacos tonight. That's my contribution to the Latino community today. How you like that, huh? How you like a little bit of that? I, I, I'm telling you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commemorate the Hispandex community today. I'm having tacos, all right? I'm having tacos. I might even, uh, I might even listen to Marvella Colita. How about that? How about a little bit of that? How more culture can you get than that, baby? How more culture can you get than that? Anyway, we got 818, Radio Graffiti. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Ryan. Welcome to my bathroom. I don't know why I'm welcoming you to that, but I'm telling you here because it looks I mean, what, what are you listening to me in the crapper, for Christ's sake, man? Jesus Christ. Uh, who else do we got over here? We got area code, uh, how about 609, Radio Graffiti. Let me tell you something. I'm a fruity-ass man, all right? You stupid son of a bitch. God damn it. You're the fruity-ass fruit bowl gay bastards out here on the internet, for Christ's sake. You, you stupid, clumping, brony, enemy, hentai, waxing your carrots a cartoon fetish pieces of borderline sexual predator crap. You are, you morons. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Give me a break. I'm, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, you know, we only got nine minutes left for Christ. Give me the mic. Give me the goddamn mic. I'm not letting you assholes turn this into a trans testicle Tuesday. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. Fruiting up the place, man. You're fruiting up. Stop fruiting up the place. Jesus Christ. How about area code 865, Radio Graffiti? On yesterday's show, you told the engineer not to take Aaron Knight people seriously. So, engineer, don't take ghosts seriously! Take over the show! Now, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Look, engineer, don't listen to these people, man. These assholes are not your friends. They're not your friends or nobody's friends. You hear me? I'm serious! Just do your job. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, man, leave the engineer alone, man. I'm tired of you idiots talking to him, referencing him. I mean, do you understand? It's true head capitalist radio hosted by ghost, asshole. This is my show. I'm the talent. So stop encouraging the damn engineer, you moron. Son of a bitch, man. I'm telling you, you guys are assholes, man. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. I want to be Mr. Leftist and try to regulate your speech, huh? Implement chat room martial law right now, engineer. Implement chat room martial law. Shut up. Shut up, all right? Just shut your stupid face. First of all, that's a splice, or I will never, ever be a leftist, ever. I'm telling you, you splicers, man. What a bunch of jerk dicks. Jesus Christ. How about uh, 978 Radio Graffiti? This is True Undertale Radio. True Undertale Radio. Thank you again. What's up? The bad guys will be underground. Give him pacifism or give him death. That doesn't make any sense. It's a decent game. Broadcasting from his mama's house in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Undertale was awesome. That, that was just amazing. And now, he'll take it from here. Your host, the savior of souls. The man they call. God damn it! show today i just want to correct you on one thing that you said earlier the name of the show is actually true engineer radio not true capitalist radio shut up 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 shut your stupid faces already man Jesus Christ, give me the freaking time. Look, don't talk to the engineer. Don't even make reference to the engineer anymore, all right? Any one of you. 
And let me tell you, if you make reference to the goddamn engineer, I've got two words for you, all right? Punitive damages, all right? The engineer has a job to do. Let him do his job. Do your job, engineer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you, you don't even know. You can't even let people work out here. Jesus Christ. Who does it? 337 Radio Graffiti. Right here. And I'm not talking about the great assholes, alright? I'm talking about a strike of electricity that just randomly comes down from the sky. Uh, yeah, here, here we go. Here we go, you stupid morons trying to, you know, uh, screw around my voice for Christ's sake. Screw you, assholes, man. Anonymous Radio Graffiti. Who made you stupid, useless? People in charge anyway. It's time for us to take it back. It's I mean, here you go, making me sound like a goddamn target, you gun son of a bitch. Another anonymous radio graffiti. today i want to give a shout out to the capitalist army and don't listen to these trolls today man happy taco tuesday hey man thank you very much i appreciate it happy taco tuesday to you my friend how about anonymous radio graffiti go go off ghost work you sound prettier than a box of fruit loops for christ's sake go go paint off ghost work i'm a melting fire right here go go paint off ghost work Jesus Christ, here we go with these remixes again. Stop it, ass crack, stop it. How many remixes are out there, for Christ's sake? All right, one more anonymous radio graffiti. Hello, ghost. This is Peter the Penguin. I want you to stick tater tots on my butthole, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, that's enough. That's it. All right. We're almost out of time here in the live broadcast, uh, but once again, folks, I'm going to do a little bit of a post-show edition of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, the third hour. The only way that uh, you can listen to that is if you give me a call right now at 516-453-9903. And uh, once again, folks, uh, if you can't get through, then you can go to blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. That's blogtalkradio.com slash ghost immediately following uh, the end of the third post-show edition hour and download it in podcast form. Anyway, folks, I'm going to be back tomorrow once again, folks, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Follow me on Twitter. Politics Ghost is the name to follow. All one words, no underscores. Politics Ghost. And folks, spread it around like wildfire and let everybody know that True Capitalist Radio is back and we are live every Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right? I'll be here tomorrow for, uh, I hope it doesn't turn into a Fruit Bowl Wednesday, 4 p.m., baby. Be here and spread it around like wildfire. All right, we are now in the third post-show edition hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And, of course, folks, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Whether you're live or in the archive, I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me. I want to reiterate again, you can download every episode that yours truly has ever conducted at blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. All right, every episode, for Christ's sake, blogtalkradio.com slash ghost, all right? 
And make sure to spread the show around like wildfire, folks. I'm telling you this right now. You, me, we are the new media out here, and we have to make sure that everybody is plastered in their fat faces with the damn truth. Not the lamestream, mainstream media suggested lies and hit pieces. I'm talking about the truth. And that's why I'm asking you, please, all right, spread it around like wildfire. All right, go to the blogs. Go to the forum posts. Go to the chat rooms. Go to the social media accounts and let everybody know about True Capitalist Radio. And we are live every Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. God damn it, spread it around. Especially if they're capitalists, baby. Especially if they're capitalists. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and go back to uh, the calls here. Uh, and once again, it's a post-show radio graffiti. And once again, if you want to do your little whatever, go ahead and do whatever. Uh, but if you want to have a serious discussion about subject matters, well, by God, this is the opportunity to do it, all right? So let's go ahead and take some uh, let's take some calls here, shall we? Uh, we got area code 619. What's up? Radio graffiti. Hey, guys, it's Asho. Uh, I have one personal question and one community question. All right, go ahead, man. What's up? Um, one personal question is, I don't know, I've I just been thinking, do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. Uh, well, I believe in, uh, I don't believe in the concept of ghosts in the Hollywood sense. I do believe that uh, there are things uh, that are in a spiritual realm or in a spiritual dimension uh, that we can't technically see with our 2020 vision. Uh, but elements of that, especially the embracing of the dark side of it by our elites, kind of proves that uh, you know there is there is something of that nature. But I, I, I don't really, I've never really seen a ghost. Uh, I've actually tried to see ghosts several times. I've been to uh, supposed haunted places. Uh, I stayed the night at a place supposedly uh, where. Uh, uh, there was some maid that supposedly saw the devil choking her sister. and I mean, I've actually <laughs> attempted. I'm not joking. I've actually tried to attempt to see these things. I am not afraid of, of that sort of thing, and I've never seen a goddamn thing. So uh, I don't know how, if that answers your question. I'm not really sure. I'm not, yeah, uh, no. I, I don't believe in ghosts in the traditional apparitional sense because I personally have never seen it. Uh, but uh, I can't deny the fact that there is spiritual elements uh, within this dimension of our reality that we're not cognitively aware of or can even see, hear, smell, taste, et cetera. Yeah, I like, I like your input on ghosts, to be honest. Thank you, Ghost, for answering that question. The second question comes from the Think community, um, because sometimes I ask them, like, hey, do you guys want any any uh, any questions? So, uh, so I can ask and they ask uh, if you're ever returning to Paul Talk. Uh, no, I'm never going to return to Paul Talk, and nor am I ever going to return to any interpersonal connect communication uh, with any of the listeners that are listening to the broadcast. All right. Unfortunately, uh, and I want to thank you, Asho, for calling in, man. Unfortunately, the last time I did that, I tried in an attempt uh, to get a little interpersonal with folks that listen to the broadcast in hopes of enlightening them and enhancing, enhancing uh, their intellectual potential. And uh, unfortunately, it did not work. And unfortunately, uh, it turned into a complete and utter sideshow, uh, a, a cyber schlonghead uh, size contest, uh, a, a complete diabolical uh, a troll uh, orgy, uh, I, I just didn't like. I didn't like what happened. It was ridiculous. So no, I'm never going to do it. Never going to come back. Uh, never going to chat with folks. N n none of that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y the only time you're going to be able to chat with me is, is if I'm on this show, or you could tweet at me if you want, and maybe I'll respond. But other than that, man, I, I just don't. Uh, I, I just don't want any formal communication with anybody, man. I mean, you know, what's unfortunate is that you can befriend somebody, right? I mean, seriously, you can befriend somebody, and, and they could be your best friend, okay? And you can tell them all the things that I'm telling you, 
And these morons will say, oh, yeah, yeah I believe it. Oh, <laughs> And they'll do the complete opposite, the complete and utter opposite. And that's what I have come to learn in my life, that the only way that you are going to inspire people is from afar. You know, because if you start bringing people that you're attempting to inspire into your inner circle, for Christ's sake, they just become your quintessential friend zone bullshit paradigm, with all due respect, excuse my French. And what I mean by that is that you know how friendship is, folks, all right? Unless you have a, a really good, uh, serious friendship with folks, well, good for you. But it's a pendulum where one side weighs down the other side, all right? One side is always dependent on the other side, and the other side just obliges because, oh, that's my friend. One side always says, hey, man, can you pick me up? Hey, can you do this for me? Can you tell me about this? Can I borrow this? Can I do this? And once you stop doing that for that individual, all of a sudden they hate you. All of a sudden they think you're a piece of trash. All of a sudden you're, you're their enemy, for Christ's sake, man. And you see, that's what, I, that's what I gathered the last time that I communicated with folks on the Internet, for Christ's sake. And look, I have to deal with that in real life as it is, and, I, and I'm sick of having to deal with it in real life. What makes you think that I want to deal with it in the cyber world, all right? Seriously. Seriously. That's why I'm telling you, I have no friends, folks. I mean, I have acquaintances. I've got associates. I've got business partners. Uh, I wouldn't say partners in the traditional, like, you know, this person owns half and I own half. I'm talking like partners in the sense of, uh, we have a mutual business understanding in which we both give each other business and, uh, you know, help sustain both of our companies. But as far as friends and all that garbage is concerned, I don't need friends, all right? I need loyal capitalists. I need loyal business folks. I need folks that understand that we have a mutual understanding to benefit each other. You are not going to try to weigh me down. I'm not going to try to weigh you down. I'm not going to ask anything of you that's out of line, vice versa. And believe it or not, that's a little bit easier said than done, to be completely honest with you. I mean, that's why I keep saying to you folks that are out here that actually believe that you've got best friends, and, oh, I, he's my best friend, so on and so forth. She's my best friend, especially you women. I, I would... You know, you women that, like, claim that you have best friends, how many times do you have to see it on talk shows, on court shows, in real life, for you women to realize that you women really don't have best friends, especially when there's an attractive-looking penis that's within the vicinity that one of you is actually with, all right? I mean, that's why all women best friends break up, is because of some guy, all right? And why do uh, most men... Uh, friendships wake up, uh, break up, folks, or they're no longer in existence because one side is a complete and utter piece of garbage and literally just wants to, you know, utilize the friendship as a basis to, you know, be a use and abuse piece of garbage while the other one is just sitting there trying to be the, quote, good friend. And then when the person stops being the good friend and says, look, I'm not going to take you here, or, hey, I'm not going to pay for this, or, hey, I'm not going to let you borrow this, or, hey, I'm not going to give you any more information or whatever, all of a sudden you're a piece of trash, they hate you, you deserve scorn, and I don't have time for that crap, man, I'm serious, I don't have time for that garbage, all right? I have got too important of a life to sit here and deal with simpletons that can't even deal with their own level of mental capacity. So anyway, I didn't mean to go off on that soliloquy about that, but I'm actually very serious about that. I don't, I don't need anybody. You understand? I'm a fucking capitalist. Excuse my French. All right? I don't need anybody. You understand that? I've never needed anybody. I've been sitting here doing my thing my whole goddamn life. I've been a capitalist since the, since the day I was born, baby. You understand that? And I learned at a very young age that ain't nobody going to give you anything. Ain't nobody going to give you the life that you want. Ain't nobody going to give you the materials that you want. You've got to go out and do it. I learned at a young age that nothing is going to happen to you. You can sit there and pray to whatever God you think, 
But if you pray that, oh, God, please let something happen to me. Please let me be successful, God. Please let me have a relationship, God. Please. That's why you ain't doing jack. You're a loser. You think God cares about you? I mean, seriously, why should God care about you and how much money you're making and what what your sexual life is looking like, for Christ's sake? And what, he's supposed to ignore the ever the other, what, 7.5 billion people on the planet? That's what I'm saying, man. I'm sorry. I, I hate to intertwine religion with this, folks, because I know it freaks people out, and right off the bat they start going tinfoil hat and all this other garbage. Uh, but, folks, you need to start recognizing that, you know, the most pious people in the world tend to, you know, suffer the most, you know? Don't you know that? You go to these third world nations, especially out there in South America, they're living in squalor, and yet they'll pray to Jesus and thank them for the damn dirt that they have. I mean, I'm serious. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Anyway, I, I'm sorry about that soliloquy. Good question, though, Ash. Uh, thank you for calling up, man. I appreciate it. Uh, who the hell else do we got going on over here? Let's take some more calls, shall we? Uh, I was going to say the number, but you can't call in because the goddamn, uh, you know, the show's over, or the live show's over, for Christ's sake. Uh, anyway, who else do we got going on over here? How about uh, area code uh, 856, Radio Graffiti? Hi, uh, Ghost. This is Trump and Capitalist. How are you this afternoon? Hey, what's going on, Trump, and how you doing, man? I'm doing fine. I'm not going to do any high state. I'm going to get over this really quickly because I know it's Radio Graffiti time, and I want everybody to get in their calls. So Tuck Guy wanted me to come on the show today and talk about a theory he has about uh, D-Ray and the DMs. So basically what he thinks is that these DMs are part of a ploy for D-Ray to be a pawn for the State Department so Hillary does not have to pander to Sanders or Black Lives Matter because basically it would take the, many of these demographics and pull them in and basically do the dirty work for Hillary. So basically it's like a magnet. D-Ray is trying to be a magnet for Black Lives Matter and Hillary so that she can get more votes from the, the minorities. Well, don't you think that D-Ray is, uh, you know, disenchanting a lot of the black minority vote, especially the Black Lives Matter contingent? I mean, I've seen Hillary and Bill being heckled by Black Lives Matter protesters, and, and you know, it's not very good footage, uh, especially if they're trying to win the black vote, in my personal opinion, especially that whole uh, super predator comment that uh, Hillary Rotten Clinton made after uh, the crime bill that was signed into law by Bill Clinton during his tenure in the 90s, which uh, basically put, uh, you know, millions of uh, minority-based uh, individuals in prisons all across the country. So uh, I, I don't know if I completely agree with that per se. I honestly do believe, in my opinion, that uh, this administration is not above utilizing any group to uh, achieve its objective, and it doesn't mind utilizing groups that agitate violence or fraud. I mean, let's, lest we forget, remember ACORN, that organization, that nonprofit fraudulent organization? I mean, they were the ones that helped manipulate, uh, you know, voter registrations and, uh, you know, helped uh, the housing crisis because they also were uh, people that helped uh, low-income families, uh, you know, push themselves into these subprime mortgages. I mean, they were this fraudulent organization that helped Obama get into office. I mean, this son of a bitch was their lawyer. He was their lawyer. So I just don't think that these guys are above utilizing groups, nor talking directly with them. I honestly do believe that D-Ray does have a communication-based relationship with the DOJ, with Loretta Lynch, and that's why he's ignoring everybody who asks him about it. Oh, yes, well, definitely. And uh, just to be a little bit of a disclaimer, Tom Guy actually sent me this information. That was his theory, and I just added on a little bit to it. So basically, uh, another thing I wanted to add is that I don't think personally that it's going to not only just be a magnet, but it's also going to cause disruption at any political uh, rally, activity, or anything else. So basically what this means is that we have to be on the lookout for uh, any more of these DMs. And basically if there's any more communication like this, like, oh, we're going to start riots or we're going to say, say how bad Trump is. So basically it's going to be 
basically they were just trying to start riots, in my honest opinion. Well, hey, uh, hey, thank you for calling there, Trump and capitalists. Look, the bottom line is that if he's going to start riots, uh, I already released where he's located. Uh, everybody should go to his house if that's the case, all right? I'm not joking. I'm not kidding around anymore. This idiot is openly advocating violence. Uh, the capitalist army released where his daddy lives. All right, we've got other addresses where this idiot bebops around in. I'm telling you this right now. Unless D. Ray starts explaining himself on what his relationship is with the Department of Justice, why he is uh, agitating violence, advocating violence, uh, I honestly believe that uh, we got to go and make sure that we go to his house, man. You understand? I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding around. If there's any violence, even at the Democratic convention or the Republican convention, I think everybody should just converge on D-Ray's house to ask him a few questions. I'm sorry. I'm not kidding around. All right? I'm sick and tired of these assholes advocating violence. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it, man. Anyway, who else do we got going on over here? How about Eric 210? What's up? Radio Graffiti. Hello, yeah, two one zero radio graffiti. Are you that specific? Yeah, must be doing something. Uh, who else do we got going on over here? How about area code five two zero radio graffiti? Hey guys, the birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, and on days like these, ham bones like you should be flapping to Undertale. Ah, uh, shut up, you stupid idiot, moron. That's right, that's a Scottish kilt-wearing bastard, huh? They're the ones that have that bull dyke uh, prime minister or whatever the hell that leader is in Scotland trying to advocate a referendum to leave the U.K. so they can go back to the European goddamn union. I mean, what cuckery? What goddamn cuckery? Anyway, look, folks, uh, I think that's about it, folks, all right? I mean, we're about ten minutes away from seven o'clock here. Uh, it's a, it, it, I, I think it was a decent Taco Tuesday, to say the least. I think that we conveyed a lot of information here. Uh, once again, yours truly is starting to cover the markets slowly but surely. But the reason I'm covering it is because I am monitoring the gradual downfall of what is going to be the inevitable contraction of the stock market, the inevitable fall of the real estate market again, and that's why you have people like Carl Icahn, you've got people like George Soros and all these other big wigs saying that we are in an asset bubble. And what that means is, is what everybody believes is uh, actual long-term investment that's growing. And this, of course, includes stocks. It includes uh, real estate. It includes art. Believe it or not, there's a huge art bubble going on as well. These investments are going to come crashing down with the crash of the stock market, with the crash of the real estate market, folks. And that's why I am strongly advising folks to be a little bit bearish on their investments for right now. Hold a lot of cash so that when the damn bottom, the, 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 the contradiction, or excuse me, the, contra the contraction of the market finally starts tanking, and you start waiting for that bottom, man. Bottom feed like hell, man. Bottom feed like hell. This is where true wealth is generated. Those that have cash on hand to be able to start buying when everybody and their brother is leaving the market, that's when true wealth is built. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you for tuning in with me on this Taco Tuesday. Please tune in with me tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. Follow me on Twitter once again. Politics ghost, man. What are you doing? Follow me on Twitter, baby. Good God. Anyway, folks, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for tuning in with me. Long live the capitalist army and death to socialism, death to communism, death to feminism, and death, death, death to totalitarianism. You hear my dog Templeton? He hates communists. He hates communists. My dog hates communists, and I hate communists, too. You hate communist Templeton? You hate communist Templeton? I hate them, too. Tune in tomorrow, Wednesday, 4 p.m.
p.m. Central Standard Time. This is Ghost, baby, the true capitalist. I'm out of here. <laughs> Look at my dog hates communists. <laughs>